All right, welcome back, everybody, to uh, Darkness Falls on 17th to Die, Alpha 17.4. I'm an old guy, Katie. And uh, we're going to start this episode off by uh, continuing the farming quest line. But uh, our ultimate goal is to get back to the bunker as soon as possible. So we're going to put the farm on this side of the building because the dirt's pretty much already set up for us. There's only a couple of gravel spots that we would have to fill in. Uh, I'm not going to, like, do the, the whole entire farm right now, though, of course. I'm just going to uh, do enough to get the quest finished, and then I will plant the actual farm uh, offline. So probably what we'll do is we'll probably put all the crops on this side, and then if we want to get critters, um, probably we'll put those guys over on this side. That's kind of what I'm thinking will happen here. But uh, it wants us to place the goldenrod seed and the yucca seed. Scrap, scrap, iron oil, plant seed. So let's just start in this corner here. Um, I'm thinking maybe right about here. Did you get that part? A little bit hard to see what's going on here. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. And then it wants us to plant the seeds. So we'll plant. Two goldenrod seeds and two yucca seeds. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the next thing you want me to do now? Gather chrysanthemum, apples, seeds, and seeds, and seeds, and seeds. Okay. Go on in here. So, uh, raw food. So how many apples does it want? 16 apples. Wrong thing. Sixteen apples. Eight chrysanthemums. Those are gonna be up in uh, plant materials. Let's just build the whole thing in there. Uh and then two seeds and two apple seeds. So let's go recipes, chrysanthemum seed, two of those, and apple. Recipe apple seed. There we go. Okay, that takes care of that. That part of the quest now is probably going to want me to plant those. I'm assuming. Let's put this chrysanthemum back for now. Okay, craft an animal snare and co coop. Animal feed, animal snare, chicken coop, place, place, place. Okay, so how do we make feed? With apples? Okay, let's go ahead and grab the apple out of here again. And go to the mortar and pestle. And it wants us to make how much? Four. Okay. Uh, a snare. How do we do that? Snare. Animal snare. We have to do this in the workbench, and it takes wood, plant fiber, and animal feed. Uh, plant fiber. I think it's plant. And do that here, right? Animal snare. Boom. Okay. And then chicken coop. How do we do that? Chicken coop. Uh, looks like it requires the same materials. Yeah, I've, I've played with other people who have done this on Darkness Falls, but I've never actually done it myself. So this is all new territory for me. Alright, and then it wants us to place them, so let's go back out to the side here. And like I said, we're going to put the critters on this side. So for now, let's just place the chicken coop down here. And we'll place the snare uh, right next to it, I guess. I don't know if they need to be spaced out or not, so let's just space them out. Okay, that was the fifth leg. We have one more to do. Craft the 
mortar and pestle and place mortar. It's funny that it's telling me to do that when I actually needed the mortar and pestle to do an earlier stage of the quest to make the animal feed. It's a little bit weird. Seems a little bit out of order there, Kane. Uh, okay, so let's um, go with this one. Oh, look at all those bolt tubes. Actually, no, let's not do that one. Let's cancel that and Oops. trap one of those. All right, and let's put this back. Whoops. On to uh, make some steel here. And place it. There we go. Now I'm going to pick it back up. Because I don't need any more. Quest chain completed class. Training farm. Right, monsters. So we'll pick this thing up here and we'll just put it in the crafted items bin because we don't need five more than this. All right. Excuse me. Now let's go here to Farmer. And what we want to do now, we've already learned these two master masteries. So we just put, put points into this. Harvest five items from planet crops and sous chef. Pick five or secret survival recipes. Learn how to make sham chowder and chili dogs. All right. So we can make the good stuff now. Not that we really need to because we've been, we've been getting it from the airdrops. The important thing, though, is this one. Now we can plant stuff and get a yield of five per plant, which is really, really cool. But in order to do that, uh, we have to make a rain catcher. That's this thing here. And then we have to... Uh, basically what it does is it irrigates the crops. And from what I understand, we have to put it down... Uh, like two blocks down, otherwise the water will actually flood the crops. It's kind of a little bit odd, but I need to I need to read up on that again before I actually you know set up the 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 full farm idea. You know what we might do though? Uh, let's let's actually let's make a couple of these. Let's make a couple of these, and we will actually put them down because I will I want to get. Some, <clears throat> Excuse me, I want to get goldenrod in particular planted. It's such a pain in the ass to find it. Um, okay, so we have two goldenrod flowers there. Let's make seeds out of the Oh, you have to have four plants to do it? Okay. Um Okay. Let's go out here so I think the way this is supposed to work if you want it to be ideal is you know what actually give me one second I'm gonna go just take a quick peek on uh, Kane's discord so I know there's a guide for this so yeah, give me just a second okay guys we are back um, so I took a look at it and basically you have to uh, the water things have to be four blocks away from the crops, no more than four blocks away from the crops. So if we come down four, one, two, three, four, and then we go over four, so the yucca is one, two, three, four. This is the spot right here where we gotta put that. And, and I, as I understand it, it has to be two down. So, ah, oh, doggone it, we're out of fuel. Uh, all right, hold on, let me go get some gas. got plenty of gas we just gotta get some in our inventory um let's grab this and do one two three four five five until i can uh, get the science mastery which is the next thing we're going to do um gotta rely upon basically wrenching cars to get fuel okay so let's try this again Now we put this little rain barrel dude down in here, like so. 
and I think that's what we do because uh, yeah it says place the rain catcher two blocks down when you're watering the crops put the rain catcher spawn uh, bottom the water that it spawns will not overflow and destroy your plop, uh, plops crops but it will still water the plants I found that you put them in a grid every five blocks dug down too deep Okay, this, by the way, uh, credit goes to Bone Carver PM uh, for doing this guide. This is on King's uh, Discord. So if you guys are already on his Discord, you've probably actually seen this guy already. Okay, so I think we got that in the right spot. Let's just double check it one more time. So one, two, three, four. So that's four blocks away. And then one, two, three, four blocks away. Okay, so I think that's where we're supposed to be. Um... Let's go ahead and uh, put the other one in then too. So, um, so we got one, two, three. Wait a minute. Yeah, one, two, three. So this will be where the next one. I did that right, didn't I? Yeah, because because if you do this right, there should be three in between each block. Okay. And then I'll, I'll finish this up off camera, guys. And, uh, you know, put put all the rest of the rain catchers in and get the, the whole grid set up. And I guess we just have to wait and those just kind of automatically fill up with water. I'm not... I don't think it actually has to rain, uh, from what, if I understand things correctly. You can kind of fall down in that thing, can't we? Uh, okay, so now we just have to wait for stuff to grow. You know what I might do though is we have we should just plant what we already have seed wise. So I got some corn, some coffee, some shrooms, cotton, blueberries, aloe vera, chrysanthemum, potatoes. Uh, we can, we'll convert all that stuff later. And I'm not necessarily going to keep all these crops in this position. This is just to kind of get us started and get some some seed. Feed crops going. So, um, oh shit. <laughs> Wrong button. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to work on, on this off camera. And then uh, when I'm done with this, what we're going to do is we're going to go, let's take a look-see here. We're going to swing back up to the location, uh, where the hell is it at? Um, here. So this is a quest that Eve gave us. I'm going to do that quest and see if we can find her again, because she's supposed to be in this area here, and turn that in and then see if we can redo the quest for the bunker. If we can't, then we can't, but at least we're going to try it. Uh, the bunker is over in this area. I don't know. I must have accidentally uh, removed the, the bookmark, but I just I know where it is, so let's just do bunker and get it bookmarked again. And um, then, you know, with, with this new ammo we have, uh, or rather the, the M4, oh my god, I forgot I had all that stuff in there. Uh, the M4 that we have, um, you know, the upgrades going in there with full health, uh, rocket launcher, that sort of thing. Oh, and the other plan, like I said, is I'm going to try and see if I can block the spawner with some titanium blocks. And we'll just see what happens, you know, and if we get our ass kicked again, we get our ass kicked again. But anyways, I will meet you guys over at that quest uh, location in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, we have uh, we have a change of plans. It is hard day. <laughs> it's a day red a red day sixty two. I didn't completely didn't even notice that until all of a sudden I was like looking. And I'm going, oh, it's hard night. Um, so it's about almost ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, we cannot go do the bunker tonight. That's not going to work. So uh, what we're going to do instead is we're going to get our science class quest going next. I actually made some tomato seeds too. Uh, the garden is doing good. So I basically planted everything that I had. I hoed up to this point, but I'll, you know, I'll, I'll keep working on this later. And then I pr planted a couple of apple trees. I'm hoping that those are spaced uh, far enough apart. I don't believe the fruit trees require the water. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think they, that they do. So uh, anyway, that's where we're at with the garden. And uh, I just finished making... Uh, the ink that I need for the next class paper and that is uh, here in my inventory 
But let's put the rest of this stuff back up in here for now. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to break down some books and schematics to get enough uh, skill skill note doohickey thingamajigger who's who was it. So let's see. We don't need any mastery books. We've learned all of the masteries. Let's just confirm that. Uh, starting with civilian. Well, civilian doesn't even have a mastery. Uh, but we've learned master chef, master hunter, master toolsmith, master mechanic. Uh, we, we've learned master scientist, but it's not available to us yet. Uh, master security, master survivalist. Uh, oh, what am I missing here? Intrinsic immunity. Oh, okay. Well, I, I want to save my points for, you know, for, for these uh, science things. So we'll eventually get that if we if we end up with some surplus points. And it doesn't look like the future tech has a mastery either. So we can safely scrap all of these books here uh, to get some more of those. Now, um, we can also really pretty much just scrap all of this stuff because I don't want to scrap the actual skill stuff. But any of these, I mean, I know we could sell them, and we will later on down the road, but for now... Um, we just need to have the, uh, the the skill notes. So let's see. This is butchering tool. Yeah, we already know all that stuff too. So the actual skill note books I'm going to hang on to. These are all like baby animals. We'll try that at some point too. This needs to go over here. So let's scrap these and see uh, where that leaves us. Because I think we need something like 128 or something like that. So this is not going to be a... N well, here, let's just... Get them all scrapped and see what we end up with here. We might have to go hit a bookstore. Okay, so that's uh, all we got here. Yeah, I don't. Th I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to be enough. So let's see, that gives us 82, 93, 99, 103, 107, 110, 116-ish. Yeah, we're going to probably end up somewhere between 116 and 120-ish. Almost, man, almost enough. Because I think, we, what do we need for that again? Ooh, 120. That's going to be so close. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? I think we might do it, you guys. I think we might just do it. We only have one more class that we have to make the books for after this, and that's the um, the civilian class. We want to get this because it gives us, you know, better buying and selling deals. That's going to be really important uh, to Matthias later on. And then, you know, we do the we get to the technology stuff from the the bunker that we're trying to get back to. So yeah, we'll um. We we only have eight points to spend though, so we'll get a co I think we'll get a couple points when we do the quest. Uh, I'm I'm not even sure what the quest is for this. I don't really care about self-medicated yet. However, that being said, we probably ought to take some of this stuff with us when we try to go do that bunker. We might just need the extra boost. We'll probably pay the price later, but yeah. Okay, did we get 120? 124, look at that. We got it. We got it. Okay, so we need 30 paper and another quill. We can do that easily. Paper, cloth. Get ourselves a feather out of the ammo supplies box here. Uh, right here we go. Recipes, quill. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm about to not going back to the bunker right now, but we there's no way I can do that on Horde Night. That's just, that would be foolhardy. Absolutely foolhardy. And we do, the, the advantage of us doing this, the medical, uh, our science quest right now too, is that then we can make medical stuff, medical bandages for ourselves, and we can make explosives. So we'll be even that much more better equipped when we get there. Uh, okay. Is there anything in those notes? 
for science. Automatic, blunt, farming, generic. We could use we could use these. Yeah, let's just grab all these generics. Pistol notes, rifle notes, scavenging notes, shotgun notes. Yeah, because it's good to save those until you're like right almost maxed out, and then you can just top the rest of the points off with those books. But um, we're going to actually do these right now. This quest is work around against you one generic skill point. Okay. Let's uh, do all of these here. So let's see. That gives us... Now we have 10 points since so we had 8. I don't want to do them too fast just in case they bug out on me for some reason. There's our class paper right there. I'll read this one. And I wanted to do this because I want to get, I want to max out the two. Uh, what are, we, where are we at? Science. I want to max out these two here, and then whatever points we may have left over, we can we can actually put into self-medicated, so we don't suffer so bad from taking recog and all that when we need to do that for the bunker. Okay, cool. So let's um, recipes. We want this to be a scientist class. And we put it here, and we read it. Let's start. Okay, medical items will be rare and valuable in the apocalypse. Knowing how to craft your own will prove very beneficial. Let's start you off with something basic. Okay, here we go. Gather cotton. Let's see. Gather cotton. Cotton is gathered. Gather wood. We already have wood. Plant fibers. Gather plant fibers. We are gathering plant fibers. And gather a splint. Oh, you know what? We have a splint. Medical, medical products. Boom. Look at that. Hey, we got some clothes. How about that? We'll put the clothes up in the clothing bin. For role-playing purposes, Matthias Reaver's going to actually have a couple different outfits. Okay, gather aloe vera leaf. Are you shitting me? We got to go all the way back to the desert again. I mean, wait, how many? Oh, we got just enough. <laughs> Look at that. Check that out. Woo. Okay, I'm glad I picked some of that. I was thinking to myself, yeah, I probably should grab something. I might need it. <laughs> and uh, that paid off. Okay, gather cloth fragments. Clothing, clothing, cloth, 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 cloth. Here we go. I don't even know what we're going to do for Horde Night, you guys. I really don't, actually. No plan. Uh, gather bandage. So bandages are here. Yes. Boom. Okay. We just got some food, canned food and water. Put that in the beverages. Gather aloe cream. Guess what we have in here? Medical supplies. Aloe cream. Okay. Now it's probably just going to want us to make a bandage. Gather painkillers. Ooh, yeah, that, that would suck if we had to find those in, like, the early game. And a jar of honey. That's easy mode. Look at all that honey we got. Boom. Okay, one one stage left. One step left. Gather mortar and pestle and place a mortar and pestle. <laughs> We've already done that. Here, let's do, let's do this. Um, there's nothing in there, right? Okay, we're just going to pick this one up, and then we'll put it right back down. That way we don't have to make one. Yeah, doing these class quests when you're this far advanced in the game is so much easier than at the beginning. Uh, excuse me. Okay. We've gathered it. And now we're going to put it back down. I should have done this the first time. Boom. There we go. Quest chain completed. Class training scientists. All right. That was pretty painless. I mean, we had all the stuff we needed. Okay, so we did get two points in physician, so let's max that out. Miracle work, all medical healing is now twice as effective when healing others. You're, okay, others doesn't matter because it's a single player game. Uh, now we want this to go. 
How many points do we have? We have 10 points. Yep. Yeah. Let's just max all of this out. Drugs dehydrate you 90% less. You have no chance to develop withdrawal symptoms. And they're 50% more effective. That's going to help us in the bunker. That is absolutely going to help us in the bunker. Uh, miracle worker. All medical healing is now twice as effective when he... Oh, did I not take that? I must not have. Okay. Okay, so everything's maxed out there. Um, let's go... Let's look. I haven't actually looked at the, you know, the normal skills in quite some time. Um, don't really care about blunt weapons or knife guy or any of that sort of thing. Where's, <clears throat> excuse me, headshot. Increased damage with automatic weapons on head. Oh, that's going to be useful in the bunker too. Okay. Glad we looked at that. All right, cool. So we are now... Um, in a position to be much better equipped for our trip back to the bunker than we were the first time we were there. Let's put all this stuff back. We don't need this right now. Didn't I grab some cotton? Yes, I did. So let's put the cotton back there. Medical products. Uh, we're going to have to grow a bunch of aloe so we can make a bunch of, of these bandages. Um, let's actually take those now. Uh, but we do have... Uh, we do have a blood bag, and let's actually do another blood draw, too, so we can do 10 big kits. You have to be careful doing that, of course, because if you do it too many times, then you get really weak. You get anemic. All right, and then we got nine alcohols there. Uh, do I have... I do. I do. Okay, so to make... Grain alcohol. What do we need for that again? Grain alcohol. Four cornmeal and one murky water. I think... Where am I keeping the murky water? In here. Okay. Let's make the grain alcohol. And then to make the uh, first aid kits, we need bandages and duct tape. Duct tape we should have in the small parts box. We only have th three. I thought I had more than that. Uh, I'm s oh, you know what? I turned them into uh, repair kits. Doggone it. Uh, all right, so that means we're gonna also need to... We've got the paper in here. We need glue. Glue should be in the Kim's box. We have two. So we're gonna have to make some glue. What time is it? I'm starting, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Um, it is... Whoops, wrong thing. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. So, yeah, Horde Nights, guys, is probably just going to be another camping out on a POI. I mean, I just don't have any other solution at the moment. So, it is what it is. So, let's grab this out of here. We need to make uh, three more bandages. So, let's do that right now. Uh, we can put the rest of this. You know, actually, I think I'm going to keep this in medical supplies because that's what I'm going to use it for mostly. Uh, all right, so let's see. We need bones. And we already have our murky water. And we're going to use the stove for this. So let's make 34 in there and 34 in here. And that pretty much uses up all of our bones, doesn't it? There goes the damn timer. Why is that... Okay, ho hold on a sec. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I should be making this in the Kim bench, not in there. I'm not thinking straight here. Because it only takes one per in here. Okay, I'm glad I caught that. So let's do 45 in this one, and we'll do... Wait a minute, what? Oh, fuel. There we go, okay, much better. We're going to have to go gather some more bones up here pretty soon. 
Let's turn this into alacrim. Uh, no, actually, we should turn it into seed. And go plant it. That's what we should do with it. Uh, we'll put this back in medical supplies. Let's go throw these in the ground. I have, I think I have one aloe plant out there right now. Um, we don't want to get more than three blocks away from here. One, two, three. So this one, oh, I guess I can just pick it up. Should go here. Or, actually, no, hold on, let's do this again. We want to put them, there, we'll start, start them back up here. So everything's in nice, neat rows. Okay. Oh, by the way, these did fill up with water uh, without it raining. I mean, it is raining now, but it doesn't, it doesn't require rain. It just automatically fills up with water. Okay, so um, the other thing we want to look at is explosives and a rocket launcher. What does it take to make a rocket launcher? Now, I've got a purple one. Where did I get that blunderbuss? Oh, I got that from the farming quest, didn't I? Okay, let's put the blunderbuss in here. We don't need it. We'll probably never use it. Uh, ammo supplies, ammunition. Grab our glue out of here. Did that turn off? Turn off. There we go. And let's make some duct to tape. Whatever. 69. Doesn't matter. Okay. So duct tape's making up. All right, guys. Well, I think um, we're going to have to wrap the episode up here. Um, so what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to do Horde Night. Uh, and I'm going to, like I did before, I'm just going to find a stout POI to camp out on, and we'll see if the POI can uh, stand up to the Horde. Uh, I, I do eventually plan on, you know, building a Horde base and trying, you know, trying to, to defeat them that way. I just, it's just, just too much shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on the list. It's just not the highest priority. So it is kind of fun, though, in a, in a sense, to 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 pick a POI and just see if the POI can can actually hold up uh, to the horde. Um, you know, and considering that's my only option, anyways, you know, we'll, we'll we'll have some fun with it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we'll do horde night in the next episode, and then after that, um, the plan is to go back to the bunker and and see if we can retake that bunker. We're going to be better equipped this time. We have a better weapon. We have more ammo. Uh, we're going to be able to use drugs that's not going to cause any major side effects with us. Uh, we're going to have uh, med better medical care. And I have a, a, a plan. I don't know how well this plan is going to work, but a plan to try and block the the area that spawns the zombies so it give, buys us enough time you know, to loot that place. That's the plan. Whether or not it works remains to be seen. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.